Welcome to a video series on learning version control with Git. Today, we'll take a look at our project's commit history. Git saves every commit that is ever made in the course of a project. This enables you to roll back to any earlier version at any time, even for only a single file. And even more importantly, it simply allows you to understand how the project evolved. Let's take a look at what happened recently in our project. In Tower, simply select the History item in the sidebar. This lists the project's commits. It's in chronological order, beginning with the newest item. When you select a commit in the list, the right side shows that commit's details. The header shows the most important metadata. The person who made that commit, when it happened, and which refs, like branches or tags, are pointing at that commit. On the right, the author's image comes from gravatar.com. On the very top, there's a short version of the so-called commit hash. This is a unique identifier for the commit. In centralized version control systems like Subversion or CVS, a simple ascending revision number is used for this. However, this is simply not possible anymore in a distributed VCS like Git. The reason herefor is that, in Git, multiple people can commit their work offline without being connected to a central server. In this scenario, you can't say anymore whose commit is number 5 and whose is number 6. In most projects, the first 8 characters of the hash are enough for it to be unique. So it's safe and very common to refer to a commit using the shortened version, instead of the full 40 characters that it actually is. If you ever need the full hash, simply expand the header to see all information. The details view also shows the commit's message. Below, it lists all files that were changed in this commit. To see how exactly a file was changed, you can have the diff of the modification shown. With the tree switch over here, it's also easy to inspect your project's file structure at that very revision. These files are not actually on your disk at the moment. It's a look into Git's database at a historic point in time. The history item in the sidebar shows all commits in your project. If you want to see only the commits of a certain branch, you can simply select it in the sidebar. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in our next videos.